Welcome back to our LiDAR Basics video series. This is part two, classifying in TerraScan using smaller data sets. Uh, once again, this is Emily, and yeah, let's get started. So if you recall, we were back in TerraScan uh, MicroStation. We had our LiDAR data set loaded. And if we go into Tools, Show Statistics, we can see it's only classified in one class. So that means there's only points in one single classification. So we can close this. What we want to do is run a classification. So we click classify, routine, and then you can see there's lots of different options. So by class, air points, isolated points, etc. Um, you can classify by as many things as you can imagine. But let's start with isolated points. So we're mostly going to keep the defaults here. Uh, we just want to make sure that we're scanning through any class. We want to select where we're taking uh, points from and where we're assigning the points to. So it doesn't really matter what cl uh, class you assign it to. It just matters if you remember the class. So I put in 31 temporary. We're going to keep the default here. Um, and we're looking again through any class. which uh, you can't really see from here. Oops, I'm just gonna move this down so you can see any class up here. And again, we're keeping the default. So we're gonna press okay, good to go. Classifying the isolated points and then TerraScan just processes. Sometimes it takes a while. This one's not an overly long processing wait time. So there we go, it's already done. It classified 942 points. So we're gonna go into Tools, Show Statistics, and we scroll down here to Class 31, which if you remember is where we put it, uh, there's now points that have been assigned to that class. So that's not super useful. It just takes out any of the isolated points. Now we want to do something kind of useful. So we're gonna run our classify routine and we're going to classify ground points which is right there so we open it up we know that all of our default points classified to point a uh, class 0 so we click on that we want to assign it to class now this one has a name so we're going to stick with ground class and then we're just going to keep the defaults here you can change it up quite a bit, but uh, for the purposes of this intro, we don't really need it. This might take a while for this process. Mine took about 20 minutes, so one coffee break later. Um, but as you can see, there's some orange in the visual, so we're going to go into Tools again, Show Statistics, and now we can see how many points got assigned as ground points. So we've still got that isolated points, and now we have ground point layer. So you can view it by doing the profile viewer. We'll clip into this little wetland here. And if you see, there's the white versus the orange, and the orange is considered our ground class. So you can see it follows where we would expect the ground to be. You can look at it with our rotate view. So pretty good. So next we want to classify something else. So we're going to go by height from ground. And something else we might want to class classify would be lower vegetation. So we're going to go from our ground class, which is already assigned, so that we have to make sure that it's on ground. And then we're going to go from class 0, which is where our defaulted class is, or any class really actually is probably a better option. So we're going to go to low vegetation, and we're going to assign low vegetation as 0 meters to 2 meters off of the ground. So that's just because shrubs are usually 2 meters tall. So that looked like it happened really quickly, but it didn't. Um, that took about 10 minutes. So we're going to show statistics again. You can see we have the points that are classified in the low veg. We're going to zoom into a little area here. Oops. 
I lost my view. I'm gonna wander around. This is a pretty thin slice of for the profile. So I'm gonna take a little bit thicker here, give you a better view. If you zoom in, you can see that approximately two meters off of the ground, you've got low vegetation. So now we want to classify the other vegetation. So we're going to again go again into by height from ground. And in the we're going to assign all the rest of the vegetation to high vegetation. So I know that I already classified two meters, and I know that this area only has 40 meter tall trees max. So I'm going to press OK. And again, that did not take as little time as it appears, but it uh, it's going to show our statistics here. So here again, we have our low vegetation class and our high vegetation class. Our points have been assigned appropriately. So if we want to save that data, you can save by class, or you can go in here and save multiple classes at a time. So that was that little arrow button. So I'm going to save my low vegetation and high vegetation. I'm going to select them, press OK. I'm going to choose the format I want, so I'm going to do an LAZ format, press OK. So I'm going to save just the vegetation data, so anything above the ground. So I just forgot which file I was supposed to put in, so I'm going into here, LiDAR, non-ground, uh, vegetation. So this is just the vegetation data I'm saving. Now that'll take a little while to save, but I'm going to navigate to where I saved it to make sure that I actually created a file. Going into classified, so yeah, and sometime later it shows that written points pop up, and now we're going to save. Oh, it took a second to load. File, save at points as, and we're going to save just the ground class. So we're going to save it same default types. Um, we're going to press OK, and we're going to name this one LiDAR ground. And press save. Again, this will take a little bit, and then written points to a file. And then now we can look at our statistics. So we've classified this. We've got that class zero, ground, low vegetation, high vegetation. And remember, we had that isolated point as well. So close that up. Another thing we can do, oops, uh, we can go into classify. And we can classify by class. So. I'm going to take the default ones and put it into where the isolated points are. That one goes really quickly. Um, and so another thing we can do on the, our data is we can uh, transform the points. So assign it to a different geoid model um, or assign them. If the, you want to raise the Z value by 10 meters or something, you can do that there. Um, or we can classify by different things. So we're going to classify by echo, for example, here. Um, and this will just uh, help us save the return intensities. So that's one of the reasons you might want to do um, an echo. So classify by the first, uh, the only echoes. And we're just going to assign it to. Um, we're going to assign it to, let's say, building. It doesn't matter. We know what it is. So let that work. And yeah, so here we've got in red our echo class. Um, I'm going to change up the view here. Just, yeah, so in here you can classify view one by class. And to only select the view of one class, you can turn off all these and then click which class you want to show. So I'm just showing the first or the only echoes. So that's what we just classified. So that's another thing you can do um, in this area. Kind of useful. Yeah. Okay. Close out of that. 
and we're going to show statistics again. So yeah, that building, that was where we classified our first echo. So to view the data that we had saved as a specific class, we can go into read points. I'm going to navigate to where I saved it. So we had saved just the non-ground and just the ground LiDAR data set. So I'm going to click in ground. I'm going to do only every 100th point just to make this go a little faster. Press OK. It's reading the file. And then here we go, we have our ground points. So this is when we classified and by ground and then saved only the ground points that were classified. So if you look at this, there is no trees at all. We're going to look at a couple different views. We're just looking at the ground. This is a pretty low elevation change area, so it's fairly flat. So we're going to open up our vegetation classes that we had saved earlier. We're going to do only 100 points every 100th again. Um, make that go fast. And yeah, so we have our low vegetation and our high vegetation. We're going to move around a little bit here. Um, yeah. So we're going to look at the profile view. Oops. And we're going to go in, and now you can see that we have our vegetation on top of our ground level. So if we go into tools, show statistics, we now only have our ground class and our two vegetation classes. Nothing else is being displayed.